As we prepare to hear the word preached by Reverend Ramos, I have a contemporary reading for you by Pastor Samuel Wells from a piece he entitled, The Words I Turn To in Times of Grief and Distress. He says this, as a widower plans a funeral or as a person faces another kind of loss, I invariably return to those simple words. I hope that in the midst of your sorrow and the bleakness of what you're facing, you can yet find a way to make it beautiful. Notice those words don't say, if it can't be good. Beauty isn't an alternative to goodness. It isn't a distraction from depth, seriousness, honesty, or integrity. Nor do they say, make it pretty. Making it beautiful is about realizing we're usually operating on a mundane level, where things were seldom make sense, and where most things are fragile and contingent. In the face of dismay, the best approach is to go up a level to a realm of fittingness, recalibrated priorities, and God's kingdom. But making it beautiful also addresses the powerlessness at the heart of grief. There is, it turns out, something you can do, and that is to take the wisdom, grace, or soul of what's been lost and portray its transcendent quality in word, deed, or collective gesture. 